Okay, I want to talk a little bit about um, piston timing um, when you're using the block-based um, memory tape um, and when it's being driven by this four uh, pulse clock here. Um, there's a couple variations. You can wire the thing up three different ways. You can have each um, lead off this clock powering one piston. Um, or you can short out the two corners, either these two or these two, and, or you can join up all together. So you can join these two and those two, if that's clear. I think it'll, it'll be clear in a second. Um, so here's the basic way of wiring up this. And I, I don't have a tape in there at the moment, but I'm going to put one in in a second. So you can see this is the basic way of wiring it. Each tick of the clock fires off one piston. And uh, and for this is how I'm measuring the, the timing here. These are ticks, you know, so there's four ticks for every cycle of that block. So here's the here's the first way where you have them in sequence firing one at a time. So then the next option is to link two of them together. So there you can see the top one and the bottom one are linked. And then the side ones alternate. Um, and you can also link the other two up. So now the side ones are linked together and the top one and the bottom ones are alternating. Or you can do both. And then you can see the top and the sides are alternating as a unit. So let me disconnect them, uh, unlink them, and now I'll start to put a tape in there. Of blocks, so you can see. Okay, so I have, this is a 4x4 four four, um, tape, um, which means there are 12 spots for blocks, but of course you need to leave one empty so that the pistons can push them around. So I have 11 blocks here, and with 11 blocks, um, each block stays in place for 4 ticks, so you can count them. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, and it's very regular. It, it moves through in the cycle. It doesn't leave any gaps or anything like that. Um, and f when you're using one less than the, the maximum cubes, you can't wire it up uh, any other way. You can't link them together. If you try to link them together, you can see it pushes it up beyond the edge of the, uh, the border. So you lose that um, block. Okay. So, which brings us to um, the second option, which is two less than the maximum. In this case, it's ten blocks, which is actually what I used to power my, my um, display counter over there, because I needed one for every digit. Now, you can see something strange here when they're wired up this way, where they're just uh, in sequence. Um, each block stays for four ticks, and then... Um, oh, right, I've linked them together, that's right. So now they're firing separately. Okay, so now... You, when you have two less than, than the total, so in this case 10 blocks, um, and they're firing in sequence, you get a pattern of four ticks and then eight ticks. So 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that repeats. Which uh, might be useful. It wasn't something that I was particularly interested in. And so to get it to come out um, regular, if you link two of them, like that, and I kicked out. Um, depending on when you link them up, um, it can still try to kick them out. You just have to time it right um, in order for it to um, stay. Let me try to put it in there. Okay, so there we have. So there we have 10 blocks, um, and we've cross-linked two of the pistons, so you can see. So with this, you get a very regular four ticks for every block. One, two, three, four. So same number of blocks. Um, that I was getting the pattern with, but just by um, linking two of the pistons, I get a nice four tick um, count for each block. And then, if I link all four of them, let's see if I can do this without, there we go. So ten blocks again, and this time I get a two tick count. One, two, one, two. Final one. You can see just in, in unwiring it, it uh, spit out an extra block, which is good actually, because I need um, these. So now we have nine. Nine is the the fewest you can have in this uh, arrangement. So this is um, three less than the maximum. Um, and Right now they're all wired separately, and you get a 12-tick uh, count for each one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and that repeats. That's very regular as well. And then if you cross-link to the corner pistons, you get a 4-tick you get a four tick count. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, and if you wire up the other one as well, you get a four tick count as well. It doesn't change it. Um, so the group the uh, the uh, this pattern um, d doesn't matter what size tape you've got. Um, it's just based on the total number um, of blocks that can fit in this size area, um, and then, you know, minus one, two, or three, and then depending on how you've got it wired.